Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever video. Today we will be taking three kind of niche ice cream flavors and turning them into little puppies. The first one we're starting with, which I am currently sketching on the screen, that is the not so well known Spumoni ice cream. If you have never heard of it before, I do not blame you. I only first heard of it probably a couple of years ago. It's similar to Neapolitan in that it has three layers, but the flavors, that is what makes this one unique. Spumoni often has chocolate, pistachio, and cherry or almond. Obviously it's regional, so it can vary depending on where you get it. The chocolate is also sometimes swapped out for vanilla. As you can probably tell from the name, this originally came from Italy and made its way to the United States with the Italian immigrants. So you can most often find it in Brooklyn, New York. That's where it's most popular, but um, a lot of stores do carry them. I have seen them in my Indiana, North Carolina grocery stores. I have never actually tried this one though. Um, I am not a big cherry person and I don't really like nuts, especially pistachios. So this one is kind of a nightmare for me personally, especially texture wise between the cherry pieces and the, the almonds or the pistachios that is just kind of yucky to me. However, I absolutely love how unique this is, especially color wise, the green and the pink and the brown, that is not something you often see together in ice cream. So of course that had to be my first choice when I was thinking of kind of niche little ice cream flavors to turn into puppies. I guess I should mention Spumoni is technically not an ice cream. It is a sherbet or sherbet, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, but I am going to consider it an ice cream, you know, just because. So anyways, as far as the art goes, we are now putting in the flat colors. I decided to make this puppy have a little trio split in their pattern, similar to the ice cream. And then I added that as a little gradient to the tail. I decided not to put like cherry pieces in that cherry section because I thought that might look a little odd. So I decided to include the cherry in their little nose as well as on the top of their head with some whipped cream. To me, Spumoni and its origins seem kind of fancy, you know, gelato adjacent. So I decided to put this one in a fancy little glass ice cream cup whatever you want to call it, I guess. <laughs> and I also added that red kind of syrup in the bottom, just to add a little more of the cherry essence to the piece, I guess. And at this point, we are starting a few details before we get into the shading, which is my absolute favorite part. I added little pistachio pieces to the green and um, kind of either almonds or chocolate chips to the chocolate section, depending on how you want to see it. Then a few little red specks to continue adding that red essence that is missing from the like cherry pink center. And then we start on the actual shading. If any of you have ever had Spumoni, by the way, please let me know in the comments because I know I probably wouldn't like it, but I'm interested to know like how many of you have seen it, have tried it, actually like it, you know, whatever. Little like regional ice creams are one of my favorite things. That is what has inspired this video. I wish that more regions or states had their own like unique little ice cream, but I cover most of them here, at least to my knowledge. Um, the only one I will be missing is the snow cream ice cream, often found in the south. And I don't mean the kind that you make yourself, like when it snows, but there is an actual pint of snow cream that you can get. Um, I think usually from Whole Foods and or Kroger, it is in a yellow container, one of my favorite ice creams. Anyways, as for this piece, we are finishing it off with some white highlights um, and some other highlights in general. This piece is maybe one of my favorite little puppies I've ever drawn. I am absolutely obsessed with how it turned out. And yeah, this is pretty much done. Here is the little Spumoni puppy ice cream. Please let me know in the comments what I should name this guy. And up next is a ice cream I'm very familiar with. It is the Blue Moon Ice Cream. This one comes from the Midwest, the upper Midwest, at least from what I can see. There's no one state, but it's common in like Wisconsin, Michigan, and Indiana. When I was living in Indiana for college, I saw it there a lot. This is one of the ones that I have actually tried. It's the only one in the video that I have tried myself. It has an iconic like cyan teal blue color. 
The flavor is kind of regarded as a mystery. Some people call it marshmallowy, fruity pebbles, that it tastes kind of like um, notes of raspberry, lemon, and vanilla, according to one website. Um, I will tell you exactly what the flavor is. It's almond flavored. Now, obviously, every ice cream will have its own recipe and formula, so I can't say that this is the case for every Blue Moon ice cream out there. However, at least for the, um, the Hudsonville pint that you can get at places like Walmart, that's the one that I tried, it is exactly like almond extract. If you have ever sm even smelled almond extract, it's the same exact flavor. Um, the crumble pink sugar cookies, I can't remember if this was the old recipe or if this is the new one, but at some point those sugar cookies were almond extract flavored, tasted exactly like the Blue Moon ice cream. Personally, as much as I really wanted to like this ice cream because aesthetically I love it, um, I just, I couldn't stand the flavor. I don't know what it was, but it was not for me. Anyways, as far as the actual art goes, I have kind of designed a Blue Moon ice cream puppy before, so I kind of use that as a base. Since, you know, moons are in the sky, I decided to go with a sort of fluffy cloud appearance for this puppy. Since Blue Moon is entirely blue colored, that made the color scheme for this one pretty easy, although I did want to add a little bit of variation. So I went with a sort of navy blue with the, um, the cup that the ice cream is in, as well as like the nose and some sprinkles. When I think of like the moon and the night sky, I very much think silver, so I went with silver accents on the cup. I sort of pictured this as being metallic. And now I'm just going in and adding some highlights to the piece. I can like almost taste the blue moon ice cream just looking at this, so I think I did a pretty good job. Like this Bumoni, if you have tried this one, let me know your thoughts. I know most people generally like it, but I just, I didn't. And yeah, this one is done. Let me know any name suggestions. The last of the ice creams that we are going to do today is called Superman Ice Cream. This is another Midwest specialty. It's kind of funny how most of them are from there, um, but this is mostly in Michigan, although also Wisconsin and sometimes Indiana, of course. Apparently, although the colors are pretty predetermined as the primaries, um, the flavor kind of varies wildly depending on where you're getting it. There is like a big chart on Wikipedia showing different producers and like what flavors they put with each color. Um, the blue is almost always Blue Moon, the one we just drew, which is kind of weird to think about. Then the red stripe varies a lot, but it's usually cherry or strawberry. Usually cherry though. And then the yellow stripe is most commonly vanilla, although it often can be lemon as well. So this is kind of a mixed bag all over the place. I have never tried this one, um, but I, I can't even fathom what it would taste like. I really need to get my hands on it. As for the actual puppy design, I decided to mix things up and use an ice cream cone as well as a cup for this one. I thought that the little pointy ears would fit that quite well, so I did that with this puppy. I was kind of nervous going into the coloring with this one since, as you just saw, it's kind of um, <laughs> all over the place, a little very tie-dye-esque. So I started by just laying out the three main colors, the yellow, blue, and the red, and just seeing if I could get the pattern right first. Obviously the colors didn't mesh too well together, and so I decided to draw from the actual ice cream and sort of um, add secondary colors where the primaries overlap, adding some green, orange, and then eventually purple. It's perhaps a little busy, but the ice cream is that way as well, so I think it ended up turning out really well in the end. The actual shading is where it gets a little interesting. Um, ice cream cone, no problem. but. Usually I do a multiply layer, and obviously if I were to shade with red like I did here, that doesn't really work well with the blue, it turns kind of gray. So I had to go back in and signal out the blue and um, shade that on its own. Luckily that's all I had to do though, and it looked pretty good just, just doing that, so I was quite pleased. Um, I went in and I cleaned up the nose a little bit, added some highlights of course. Can't forget the little, the little ear tufts. And um, yeah, this guy is pretty much done as well. Like the other two, let me know what you would name him. I'm really pleased with how all of these turned out, but especially this guy. 
all things considered with colors. So here is the final Superman ice cream puppy. And here they all are together. Thank you so much for watching my first ever YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed and if there are any other things you want me to turn into puppies or kitties or whatever else, please let me know in the comments. Lots of things for you to tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching.